Good morning, everyone. So on this GoFormative, I am going to have you review the Focus and Directrix couple of problems. On this one, you can find the vertex it, because it's already in vertex form and then just use the formula 4P equals 1 over A to find your distance, P, and then find your Focus and Directrix off of your vertex. On this one, you will have to complete the square. So look at your notes from yesterday and the day before on how to complete the square. And then I also wanted to review with you circles because circles will be on your next um, test and homework quiz. So I wanted to review that with you so you don't forget it. The standard form of an equation of a circle is this where h k is the center of the circle and r is the radius so in the equation if you know the radius you will square it for this side of the equation and once you find the center you would just plug the coordinates of the center into the equation so let's look at number three so now you'll know how to do number three and you can enter the questions or answer the questions on the go formative. And so um, I'll start by writing down the x and then subtracting the h. This is the h, so I say minus 12, and I square that. I'm going to add it to y minus the k, because k is negative. Neg minus a negative 1 looks like plus 1, and then square that. And then my radius is 6, so 6 squared is 36. And so that is the equation that you will enter into the Go Formative. You will have to type it in like this with the caret symbol and the 2, then the plus. And don't use any spaces when you are typing this. And then Go Formative will allow you, um, or will answer that, will tell you that your answer is correct. You can read submit this until you get all of the answers correct. So you need to do number four by yourself. And then the ends of the diameter are at negative 10, negative 16, and negative six, negative eight. So you probably want to maybe grab a piece of graph paper and graph that, or just use the distance form, or sorry, the midpoint formula to find the midpoint between these two um, points. Once you find the midpoint, you could find the distance from the, from the center to one of these points, that'll give you your radius. Then you'll use that center that you found to um, write the equation of the circle. So let me just remind you of what the midpoint formula is. So midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. It's just the average between the points. And then y1 plus y2 over 2. And then the distance formula, after you found this will give you your center, using this as your x1, y1, and x2, y2. And then the distance formula, and if you were in class on the day I taught the distance formula, you know that if you graph it, you can just um, use the Pythagorean theorem, really. But if you don't want to graph it, um, then the distance formula also works. So that is going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Remember, x2 minus x1 is the change in the x value between two points, and the y is the change in y value or vertical change between the two points. Oh, it started to not look like a y, didn't it? All right, so that's how you're going to find the radius. The radius is going to be the distance between your center and one of the points. That's how you'll do five and six. And we did do one of these, a problem like this in class. So then on number seven and eight, you will just have to visually observe where the center is on the circle, find the H and K or the coordinates of your center, and then count the um, 
appropriate squares to find the radius out from the center to the edge of the circle and write your equation from there. All right, good luck. Help each other out. And have a wonderful Thanksgiving.